Hi guys, this is Irena with a new lesson for you. Today we're going to find out how many cases of Russian nouns exist in our language and the role that those cases play in it. When we use a noun in a sentence, that noun always refers to one or another case and depending on that, that noun changes its ending. In English, you have a lot of different prepositions and by using them, you can express one idea or another. In Russian, when it comes to the nouns, in order to explain clearly our thought, we should change the ending of a noun. Of course, sometimes we also use prepositions, but anyway, it is necessary to change the noun ending, okay? Now let's look at all the cases in the Russian language. There are six of them. The nominative, the genitive, the dative, the accusative, the instrumental, and the prepositional. Именительный, родительный, дательный, винительный, творительный, предложный. The nominative case is the most easy to use because in this case you shouldn't change the ending of a noun. All of the nouns that you can find in a dictionary of Russian language are written in this case. The nominative case responds to the questions who and what. It is used in such sentences as Who is she? This is my mom. Or What is there? That's my book. In these sentences, the nouns mom and book should be written in the nominative case. Or, for example, when we want to state a fact of something by saying Rome is the capital of Italy. Okay? Now let's look at some examples. The nominative case. Именительный падеж. Response to the questions who or what. Examples. Who is that man? Кто тот мужчина? What is it? Что это? This is my bag. Это моя сумка. The genitive case responds to the questions of what or of whom. When you use in English the preposition of, in Russian we should use the genitive case. But in Russian this case is also used with a lot of other prepositions. So let's look at some examples. The genitive case родительный падеж responds to the questions of what or of whom. Examples It's made of wooden. Оно сделано из дерева. Without a doubt. Без сомнения. I don't know your address. Я не знаю твоего адреса. to whom or for what. When we want to give somebody something, we can say, for example, I'll give it to my friend. In this sentence, you should put the word friend in the dative case. We also use the dative when we show an object towards which an action is directed. For example, to help to a friend. Okay, now let's look at some examples. The dative case дательный падеж responds to the question to whom examples Please pass it to your mom Пожалуйста, передай это своей маме I want to make my grandmother a present Я хочу подарить своей бабушке подарок I love my mom or I like drinking tea. I think this case is the most difficult because it seems a lot to the nominative case and sometimes even native speakers of Russian language make mistakes when it comes to definition of a noun case in a sentence. 
but don't worry, any foreign language requires a lot of effort and practice, and if you study hard, you'll be able to understand a lot. So now let's look at some examples with the nouns in the accusative case. The accusative case. Винительный падеж. Response to the questions whom or what. Examples. I love my dad. Я люблю своего папу. Let's start doing the work. Давайте за работу. The next case that we have is the instrumental. When we're talking about an instrument that we use for something, we should use this case. For example, I cut it with a knife. We can also talk about one's job. For instance, he works as an electrician. The instrumental case responds to the questions by what and by who. Let's look at some examples. The instrumental case. Творительный падеж. Responds to the questions by what or by whom. Examples. I'm so proud of your brother. Я так горжусь твоим братом. The letter was written by my friend. Письмо было написано моим другом. And the last case is the prepositional. The name of this case indicates that it's always used with a preposition, especially when it comes to such prepositions as about, in, and on. For example, I'm talking about my job. I like swimming in the sea. I am lying on the beach. In the last two sentences, we could ask the question where. This question indicates that the prepositional case should be used. Now you'll see some examples. The prepositional case. Предложный падеж. Response to the questions about what? About who? Examples. What can you tell me about your job? Что ты можешь рассказать мне о своей работе? Let's talk about weather. Давай поговорим о погоде. Good job, guys. And that's it for today. In the next lessons, we'll look at all the cases in detail, we'll learn all the endings that the nouns can have, and we'll look at some exceptions. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, where you can find more interesting lessons of Russian language. Take care. Bye for now.